Hey, so today is Coping Skill Tuesday. Okay, and so for Coping Skill Tuesday, uh, once a week I'm going to talk about one coping skill um, that I use or know of or have used because um, the purpose is to help me kind of look at my coping skills and what's available to me because I know that in the moment I have like one or two coping skills that I actually use and there's so many more available that if I practiced more and kind of understood what I could have available to me um, and if I had a larger list might be more successful in kind of taming some of those tough days. So um, for coping skill Tuesday I'm going to cover four questions and then I'm going to rate it um, and kind of give um, myself an idea of how and when to use that coping skill essentially. So my questions will be like what is the coping skill, what are the obstacles to engaging with the coping skill, kind of like what are things that kind of come up with that coping skill, maybe some stigma, maybe prep time, feelings, triggers, people, thoughts that might get in the way, things like that. And then um, thoughts to overcoming the obstacles. So right now, while I can think of it, what are ways to overcoming those obstacles? And then I want to talk about like how do I engage in the moment with the coping skill? So the last time I used it, what did I do? And kind of in a way, it's a way for me to talk about anything else that didn't come up. Maybe ways that even though I can think of thoughts right now, in the moment, maybe it's different. And then I'll rate the skill based on like, is it easy to engage in the moment, um, overcoming the obstacles, um, like is it hard or requires practice, or is it easy, out of the box ready kind of thing. Like if the only thing I need is my mind, then it's a really great coping skill. Um, availability, so is it available, do I need to, you know, is it something that I need to prep, or is it something that is just right there? at my fingertips and it doesn't require too much practice, not too much prep time, that sort of thing. And then what kind of day do I use it on? Is it like a one star day would be like the best day ever. Um, so, you know, it's a great coping skill but I can only use it on a good day. And then five stars would be something that I could use even on the hardest day. Um, so it's gonna be a one to five star rating and then I'll average it out, kind of give myself an idea of how easy is it to use? So today, the coping skill I wanna talk about and something that I've kind of gone over myself today, thought it out, I've thought it out. Um, and so the coping skill is to say, I'm having the thought that. So this coping skill, the idea behind it is to diffuse the thoughts. Um, they might arise in, you know, those thoughts that arise in a difficult situation. Um, like for instance, let's say I'm upset, I'm looking in the mirror and I'm thinking, you know, I'm looking at the mirror and I say, I am fat. Well, if I say instead, I'm having the thought that I'm fat, kind of changes that whole, um, the whole thought actually. Um, uh, suddenly it sounds like I need more proof and I'm a step further from the harsh thought. It also points out judgment, so um, it's a really good tool. Um, so let's kind of think through it. The question next is, what are the obstacles to engaging? So I thought of three obstacles. One, in the toughest situations, I don't think to do this. Second one is, sometimes I feel resistant to let go of the thought. And then third, other times I feel it is not a thought, but a repetition of a fact. So thoughts to overcoming the obstacles. One, in the toughest situations, I can e I usually email my therapist. Um, and on the occasions I don't email email my therapist, I guess those are times that maybe I should be, you know, have a list available to me, um, maybe some helpful skills to use on those tough days. So maybe some prep, kind of thinking through um, those those special skills that are helpful. Um, the second one, so if I feel resistant to the thought, um, even if I feel the need to hold on to the thought, um, practicing the skill in the moment won't change 
the power I give the thought right now, but it gives me one practice and two, maybe it could also give me some space. So it, by even saying it, I still have the option to continue to think that that thought's important to me, or I can say, I'm having the thought that I'm fat. I can decide to start believing that. And so I can be more ambivalent instead of so I'm I'm fat. <laughs> so that changes things a little bit. Um so if I'm really it really just changes like the ability for me to be more willing to give up the thought. Um it just kind of creates space. And that might help. Maybe that space is all I need. I don't need to change that I whether I believe it or not, I just need to change the fact that I have some space to let it go. Um, and maybe I'll let go of it in a little while. Um, third, if I try this skill in a different way, like let's say, so this is like for those times that I feel that it's not a thought but a repetition of a fact. So let's say if I try the skill in a different way. Um, let's say I'm sure I'm fat. It's a fact. Let's say that. So I could say instead, instead of just saying I'm having the thought that I'm fat, I can say I'm having the thought that I am fat is a fact. Um, and that changes the concern to more of a curiosity. Do I really believe that it's a fact? And that's something that I need to investigate before I investigate I'm fat. So. Um, and these are actually, you know, the qu next question would be, how do I engage in the moment with the coping skill? And these are all ways I engage with this coping skill. Um, it's a new coping skill to me, but it's also a coping skill that I've found really helpful recently. So, um, that's why I'm doing this one first. So, I'm to rate the coping skill. So, the question is, um, the... Is the coping skill easy to engage with in the moment? I'd say that there's some prep for toughest, the toughest of moments, so I'm gonna give this one a four. So if there's anything a coping skill requires or if I kinda come up with a thought, I'm gonna downgrade it a point. Just a heads up. So that's a four. Um, overcoming obstacles, I think there's a little prep prior for those tough, tough days, so I'm gonna give it a four. Um, but mostly, I'm going to say that it doesn't really require too much prep. Um, just requires your mind. So I'm still going to give it a four for those toughest days um, because it does kind of get in the way. It's kind of an obstacle. So the overcoming that obstacle needs some prep. Um, availability, it's all in your mind. It's right there. So I'm giving it a five. Five stars. Um, and what kind of days can you use it on? I think you can use it on even your toughest day. Um, especially if you kind of work on the mentality um, that all it does is provide some space. So I'm going to say five on availability, which is awesome. So that gives the average four and a half. Four and a half stars. This is an awesome coping skill. I like it a lot, um, and it's one that I've been practicing. I struggle with it, but still practicing. So that's Coping Skill Tuesday. I will see you all on Thursday. Have a great day.